Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue watching Supernatural. We're in season 4 and it's episode 12 and that means we're basically halfway through the season. If you're new here, hello, welcome in. My name is Cora. It's really good to have you here. I'm also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you want to check the gaming content out, you can click the link up here and if you want to come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link that is down below in the description box and if you're not new welcome welcome back the last episode we watched it was a lot i was very jumpy because i didn't notice but a post that was behind me fell down whilst i was watching and you know the episode kind of it was kind of a little bit scary um i was home alone at the time and it was dark outside and all of that combined with that episode just made it really scary it was called family remains and well basically dean wanted to work 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 because just to sam that you know they're that's one thing they really have in common when they're going through something rough it's not just that they want to like dwell like or like like almost drown themselves in the work but I think it's a combination of wanting to work to not think about it and also work to make sure that you're doing the right thing and that you're helping people. And part of them's been through that, Dean's going through that right now. I think that Sam understands that, even though he's a bit like, oh, can we not have like a day of resting, please? I think he understands that because he's been through a similar thing. But they found this case that seemed like you know, normal haunted house ghost thingy. And they thought it was. Up until they realized it was not. <laughs> this family was moving into a house where we got to see the owner killed. And it kind of looked like it could have been a haunted house with everything that had been going on. There was, I think, the owner's daughter had hung herself which was obviously really terrifying and she had hung herself in the building but then they found out that they were cremated so they were like what could be left in the house that attaches this ghost to the house and they didn't realize it wasn't a ghost until she stepped over the salt line they're like um guys so um this is not a ghost ghosts cannot do that <laughs> it turns out it was not a ghost nor something supernatural. It was actually someone who was created out of the cruelty of humans. So the owner, whose daughter hung herself, turns out that the father got his daughter pregnant, made her feel dirty and ashamed of it, to the point where she hung herself, and before that he had threatened to lock the children in to the house so they would never see the like daylight ever and he did so there were two i don't know if kids is the right words but two people two sip like a pair of siblings uh, a son and a daughter living inside the walls of the house and even though they are human they barely were because of how mistreated they were they'd never seen the daylight they only ate what they were able to get through the house and i think maybe the grandfather dad um dude fed them somehow to just keep them alive but i honestly don't even understand why he would keep them alive if he despises them that much out of the kindness of his heart like i don't get that i mean i'm I didn't want him to kill them, but just like, I don't know, I guess he got some weird pleasure out of hiding them away. It's really strange. We never really found that out. Obviously, the family moving in there gets terrified, and Sam and Dean manages to help them out after a lot of back and forth of not believing them and them trying to keep them out of the house and all of that stuff. Their uncle, the family's uncle, unfortunately passed away in the episode, and i was gonna say even worse sorry but that's probably not what you say but like the dog also does and it's just it's horrible i could i hated that part of the family dog like how could they do that oh in the end they do 
manage to get everything back in order the son who was kidnapped they get him back and they get through this but unfortunately both the siblings are killed and i really would have wished that they could have gotten like a second chance of life i don't know how much anyone could have done for them but like they didn't i know that they murdered two people but i also don't think they deserve to die because they literally didn't no, like they have no idea what's right or wrong in this scenario and I just thought it was really sad and I really feel like sometimes the episodes with just humans are the worst. Like this wasn't even supernatural and they're always the scariest and most tragic ones I feel like. A lot of them are, a lot of the episodes are but these cases just, I don't know, they get to me. They get to me because I guess technically speaking that could that could happen. There could be people out there doing stuff like this and it's just horrific to think about. I did enjoy it however and now I'm nervous for the next one. We haven't seen our angel friends in the last one. Maybe we'll meet up with them. Maybe we'll get Dean to eat again. Maybe it'll just be another case. I don't know but I think it's time we find out. So without further ado let's get into the video. Oh. oh, I was like, oh, is it like Valentine's Day? Well, maybe it still is. Maybe it is Valentine's Day. Oh, Magic Week. If they mix like actual magic with magic trick, this, that, that could get real scary is what I'm saying. Oh, you're really good. Trying to yeah, say. Ah, great. Hey, show us another. Finish your drink, Vance. Why do I feel like the magic community could be so toxic? Do a card trick for me. Ooh, here we go. The bartender is being nice, at least. This is your card. You made it to memory. Hmm? That's incredible, Jay. Don't be a jerk. Yeah, I agree with the woman there. Don't be a jerk. Come on. If you're better, then just earn it and just be proud oh, of it. The cards say no. <laughs> His pocket. God's sake, Vance. We'll just check, check the damn pocket. What's wrong with the dude? Why is he like that? Why? Why would he reveal his tricks? Why, Why would he do he that? Yeah. <laughs> no, she called him all. <laughs> like it wasn't enough that she, that he was, yeah. I feel bad for him. Oh. That's, that's a whole thing. Is he wearing eyeliner? <laughs> Out of everything. That's what you're noticing? To find me! Get it? It, it, it has to find me! Let's take it back. What, what a douchebag. Douche <laughs> Misdirect is shaking his ass like an 8th Avenue hooker. Used to be about skill. Yeah, used to be, used to be. Listen to the two of you. Oh, now he thinks that too? You know what? This, this douchebag isn't the joke. We are. Hey, who are you calling oh, is he still thinking about what happened at the bar? Is that why he's saying that? Maybe that's why. That used to be us. Yeah, maybe he is a douchebag, but he's playing the main stage and we can't even afford an assistant. We're sad and old. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad for them. And <laughs> we're dying. Table of death tonight. No, no you're not, Jay. Don't be cr Well, what does that mean? Oh, I'm scared. At least I'll go out with a headline. So he's gonna kill himself to make a big show? Oh no, no one's, even, of no one's even there. No one's even there. Oh, I feel so bad. I, and I must, oh, I'm, I don't know if I want to think about how this is going to go. We'll see they're very real, very tight. Thank you. I don't know if I want to watch this. I'm freaked out. What if he? Damn straight, they're tight. You sure you can slip them? He does kind of feel like he doesn't intend to, or that if he can't. Oh my goodness! Like if he can't do it, then he might as well not live. That's kind of the vibe. Like, oh my, his friend is even worried, and they're all magicians, is what I'm assuming. Are they gonna let him go through with it? Yeah. I know. Do, do I have to watch this? I don't want to watch this. Shows in an hour, Vance. Try to be on time. Or is that like his manager's assistant or something? <laughs> no. 
and people are just like probably not paying that much attention or maybe they are now that he's struggling so much can't they just feel safe here? wait what not that but okay i'm really glad he did it i really thought he wasn't gonna make it they're impressed and surprised too but what about the other dude oh Okay, wait, how how did he get... That's, that's what would have happened to him, right, if he didn't wiggle out. Maybe he's a real magician, but he just... He thought he was such an arse that he just decided that he's gonna do it and let let it fail on him or something. I don't know. That freaks me out. I, I don't do tricks. This is a demonstration about demons. Oh, I missed what it was called. Douchebag something. Douchebag. All that stuff mixed up in my head. It's Jeb Dexter. Oh, he knows who it is. I don't know how you know that. <laughs> He's famous. Kinda. In the magic community, I guess. Douchebaggery. <laughs> Imagine being famous for that. <laughs> I agree with Dean there. The, the like, um... Oh, Sam's reaction just being like, meh. Is this your card? Neatly done, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is not things we joke about. We'll Even if you know it's not BS. magic okay, magic, it's pretty crap, impressive how you do it. it. Take skill. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. I forgot you were actually into this stuff, weren't you? I mean, you had, you had like a deck of cards and a wand. Oh, that's so cute. A face. Actually, I love it. They'll play in at demons and in magic when the real thing will kill you bloody. Yeah. Out of ten stab wounds without a single tear in his shirt. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that that is that is something. I do really wonder how that happened. Vance had plenty of enemies. How so? He would steal from other magicians. Oh. So not only would he critique everyone, but also just do the same as they do. Enough to get him killed. Even stuff, you okay. Stuff pretty seriously. Oh, hello, rabbit. So cute. Did you find anything weird in Vance's stuff? Well, weirder. <laughs> Something that's out of order of a magician, I suppose, or that he doesn't use. Oh, that's a tarot card, isn't it? He hated card tricks. Never wanted them around. Let alone in his precious cape. Why didn't he like card tricks, though, specifically? Oh, but not just that it's a card, it's also not like a normal play card, right? You gonna tell me how you did it? Did what? You know what? He is almost angry. Yesterday, you were sad, old, and dying. Today, you're one of the great Honestly, ones. that is a ton of events. The way he's acting is very different. No, you didn't think Jay, you could do I it. Did. When you were talking the other day, the way he was talking was like, I can't do it. Not bad. Not bad. I've been working it's... to pull an ace out of the middle of the deck for years. And now he's just a... How? Wait, so his... We're missing the ace of hearts. Magic tricks and stuff has just completely taken a turn. I'm gonna do the executioner tonight. Okay, that Are doesn't also sound good. Are you get yourself killed? It's just a rope slip. Houdini wouldn't try the executioner. Exactly. Oh no, wait, what? I don't know if it's that he's getting, like, better or if it's him... It wasn't luck. Just, it like, wasn't. his confidence going through the roof? Oh. Couple old farts doing birthdays and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> it beats dying. I agree with him. It does beat dying. But I will not watch you die. It, they were both scared. Tomorrow, like the day before when he was You're doing that. There for me. Check your pocket. He's got the ace, of course. <laughs> That's good, Jay. Maybe it's both. Maybe he suddenly got an extremely good at the magic stuff. And yes. therefore his... Like, confidence went through the roof. I get why he wants to do something that's like spectacular and like unheard of, but still. You've heard an asking? Who's asking? 
Better allegiance, Ulrich. Ulrich? <laughs> they have such different names every time. He's calling him Dwev Devil Twist, really? Smoking hot effect last night, Jim. Jay. Huh? My name is Jay. Wait, yeah, what? Whatever. Is he on his show now, or...? What a douchebag. Couldn't He's like, more. that's what I said! That's what I said! <laughs> it's familiar to you? I said we can loop it later. Just Should it be? It's a tarot card, even I know. No? Act. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and I haven't touched the deck in years. But even so, he should know the card, right? Even if he hasn't done the act for long? The guy down on Bleecker Street. Oh, yeah. He, he peddles that kind of specialty stuff. Vance crossed him about a year ago. Cost uh, 50 grand. Oh, God. Okay, so Vance really didn't have... That's for Chief. How did he know Chief. the address? Thank he really you. did piss people off then. But even so, why would it be connected to the other dude's show with the swords? Because it was exactly what he was doing. And then the card matched that. Like, how would this random person be able to match the two of them, you know? I don't want to, like, assume it's his friend, but I feel like that's more likely. I'm, uh, here to see Chief. <laughs> Wait, why is he there alone? Wait, where is Sam? Why do they tend... Every time they split up, something bad happens, okay? Don't touch anything. He's in, like, a creepy basement. Is that like a club here? Is that what the noise is? Or is that just supposed to make me nervous? It sounds like a club. Gotcha. Is that Chief? I love how Dean's like, um, this is not what I'm here for. <laughs> Before we get started, Dean's what's your face? Safe word? Oh my god, it would have been so much funnier if Sam was there and saw Dean's face. I wonder if the dudes just sent him there to like, screw with him, or if he's just a magician as well. He could just be doing both, you know? Like, that's just his private life and then he's a magician, like, his job. What are you doing right? here, Ruby? I should be asking you the same thing. Ruby, hello. Long time no see. Maybe not that long, but... The whole world's about to be engulfed in hellfire and you're in <laughs> Magic Town, USA. You got something well, against magic? That would almost be funny if 34 seals hadn't been broken already. 34, Sam. There's been 34 broken? We have not seen 34. We've seen Every like what? Is three? One day closer, two? And if three? If someone doesn't do something soon. And if someone's me? Who else would it be? I don't know where these seals are. I don't know squat. I get that it's. Hmm. You might want to go after the one doing the breaking. I guess Lilith? not many knows and could. You're the only one Do anything else about it. Mm, that is probably sure. That's the problem too. Bitch. But I get that, well, like, having TV. that it's on his shoulders is just... Problem with. Yeah, I know what you got a problem with, but tough. It's the only way. But if that's the only way, why no. wouldn't the angels no. be willing? I don't understand so that part. Easier. They want to get rid of Lilith, right? It's getting it fishier you. and fishier. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I don't, huh? She's like, yeah, because I'm not a demon, huh? It's simple. Lucifer rises, the apocalypse starts. You think that you have demons on your hands now? People are going to die, Sam. Oceans of people. Yeah, this is... I get it because of his powers and what he can do. And maybe he is the only one who can stop Lucifer, but that's like the weight of his, the world on his shoulders. It's rough. They don't even know what to do, where to start. Nothing I don't want to talk about or think about ever again. <laughs> He's like, let's forget about that and pretend like it did not happen crazy. ever. And you know it. Did you even try to talk him out of it? Till I was blue. Well, cannot he try as well? Both of them could try. Something in his eyes. In his eyes. You're both nuts. I don't think he meant it like that. Maybe, or maybe he did. Or maybe he just meant like you Chief, could huh? see that he What's looked matter? differently. Chief, not your type. <laughs> did they have fun time? Action of justice. Oh, you're no fed. Yeah, we count people for a living, son. <laughs> takes more than a fake badge to get past us. Good point taken. He's like, uh, oops. We are actually aspiring magicians. 
Yeah, we, we came to the convention because we thought we could learn something. That's probably a better Looks, lie. It's a, it's a brother act. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, with the rings and doves and... And then now it's getting worse. They're not going to believe this, are they? Give you the incredible J. <laughs> I can see oh, why they didn't believe them though. Someone's gotta not believe them. Stick around. They're like, yeah, if you wanna learn something, today might be the day. Dangerous, even the great Houdini dared not attempt it. And then you're gonna do it. The executioner. I like imagine I wouldn't wanna watch that, you know. I feel like watching that is it's too much. Oh <gasps> is something gonna happen to him because he was being a douchebag? Like the dude. Oh gosh, wait. The dude who was doing the show. Now, I Something's gonna happen to him, isn't it? Because he was also being a douchebag to him. To <laughs> escape certain death. Is he gonna be strangled by a rope that didn't exist? I don't but Oh gosh, and then the music, this is making me so stressed. Okay, wait, why does he have a rope that is already tied in the room? Oh, Oh no! Fudge and heck. That's so sneaky. How does this work? Even them see, like, who see a lot of strange stuff seems a little concerned. Oh, but he is gonna make it because he's not making it right. But also, amazing. why are they doing it behind the screen? Not humanly possible. Like, wouldn't that be easy to like get out of it without anyone seeing? Then, oh, from the fan, hanging from the fan—that's terrifying. Looks like this guy Jay was a pretty big deal in the seventies. He got old. I guess people want to watch young people perform. The incredible Jay is using real magic to stage a comeback. It's possible. I feel like maybe he's just been dragged into it and it's maybe not him. Is there a tarot card that matches that trick? I hope I die before Because the I swords I can see. The thing seems brutal, don't it? Why do you say that? You think we will? Oh no, I don't want you to talk die about before this. before we get old. I mean, Never you do live up. Do you think we'll still be you chasing have. demons when we're 60? You have no. both died, but... I, be dead. <laughs> For good. I don't want him to think like that, like Travis, but I can uh, see it. Because they maybe. live a There's very Bobby. dangerous... Like, Bobby, yeah, that's true. Maybe we'll be different, Dean. I don't know, I feel like Sam really Got wants to drink, grow man. old. Say and I think it scares Dean. Sad. Like, it's more... It's life. something that he doesn't know. That kind of death is something that's less familiar to him than... One that is in I reference to being a hunter, you know? When? If there was a way we could just... Put an end to all of it. Is there something going on you're not telling me? No. Sammy? Sam, just tell him exactly what happened the day I before, because that's could... definitely why you're Go thinking about source. it. That's all. Come I'll on. Off the snake. Maybe we should start communicating with each other. Didn't Problem we agree on that? that it has a thousand heads. No. Evil bitches just keep piling out of the Volkswagen. Can we, can we just please, for once, just say, hey, Ruby was here, she reminded me of this, so that's why I'm acting the way I do and how I, why I feel the way I do. That's, that's what we need. That's what you need. Hey, so the maid found Jeb hanging from a ceiling fan. Police think it was a suicide. I beg to differ. Oh, you found the car, didn't you? Light a hand myself. On Dexter's body? The hanged man. Cards work like black magic target. Jeb was a total douchebag to Jay yesterday. Uh, Vance. Vance. And he Brown, was one too. Vance was Jay at the bar the day he was killed. I just, it could be Jay. Or maybe it's not. Maybe. Ten swords to the chest. Then Jay slips a noose and Jeb doesn't. Hell of a trick. Yeah, but it's time we had a little chat with Jay. He slipped me. He slipped you. Interesting. He's a magician. He does have tricks up his sleeve, but I'm just wondering if he knows, like, is he doing this on purpose or is it something in connection to him? Because I feel like it could also not be him, like, he just thinks that he's gotten really great at magic and, well, he has and, like, all of that stuff and that he doesn't even know. Do you know, know what I mean? 
Up against the wall! Oh my god, who are you? What are you now? We know what you've been up to! Don't be douchebag to him though, you never know what happens. He might not know. Messing with real magic? Real magic? There's no such thing as real magic. It's, it's, it's all fake! What? Something happened to Jeb? He was found hanged in his room. Oh god, I'm scared. Maybe he made a deal. <gasps> Maybe he made a deal. Maybe he made a deal. And he didn't realize that this was gonna... He knows he something. Badass hoodoo at us by now. He knows something, but he's not doing it actively. It's not him. Who is it? Even if Jay's not working the magic, he's still getting the reward. It shows yeah. something out. Something. Something's not right. They're obviously in Jay's corner. All right, so we got Vernon and Charlie on the list. Anyone else? We could always ask him. <laughs> Guess we should have seen that Did one. Did you? Oh, on. Yeah. He couldn't have um, that far. The way that the second they were about to turn around, I was like, maybe you shouldn't turn around and tie up a magician. And also, maybe you should check the room to see if he actually left the room. No. Nope. Maybe he managed. I mean, he really is good. When he found a back door. They're just being a bit too. Oh no! I What's happening? Those just broke into my room. Prince, hands where I can see. Oh him. no! Not the police. This is so bad. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, this is so bad. That I was using real magic. That I was casting spells on tarot cards. Real magic. Guy Wait, so he does seem confused, maybe, but he's something, he's done something, no? You don't think? Well, the things that I can do now, the cards, mm -hmm. working the cards your whole life. Yeah, but he's never been this good, right? The cups in 30 years. And then there was the way that that, that Patrick Vance okay. guy. Maybe he doesn't realize no great laws there. Uh, Charlie, he anything. To die. He's but just he like... nothing to do with it. He was hanged the same night that I performed the executioner. Okay, he seems upset, which I am happy about. You actually believe those guys? It is strange coincidences this year, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, don't no, think. he believes them. A little bit. Or he's worried that it's true at the very least. Are you kidding me? You have a sold-out house out there. Yeah, but someone else could die. When I was doing the table of death, I was, um... He was what? I was gonna kill myself. Yeah, that's I what I thought no too. Idea how I got out alive. It when he was talking about it before he did it, it sounded like I'm gonna go out with a bang. Somehow you did, Jay. It's kind of wild that he doesn't know it all. How you were incredible, the incredible Jay. You were the best I ever saw, and now you got him back. Well, it matters if people keep dying for him to be back. You know? Hell, it makes me feel young. But no buts, Jay. I feel like he's... I don't know, if maybe he's trying to be kind to him, maybe he's just like, riding on this high too, don't but... I feel like he should listen to his gut feeling that says I shouldn't do something and maybe not do it. No, could just could just be me, but I, I just feel like maybe sometimes you shouldn't do things that... He seems so calm about the whole thing, right? But he didn't... Does he know something? Did he do something? What if he doesn't get out this time? Okay, he did. I was like, what if? What if he doesn't... But also, like, they literally go all the way down for him to get out. How is that possible? happened again didn't it oh <gasps> no that was his friend he wasn't even being a douche he was some kind of being supportive i feel like he was trying to be supportive hey. he's waiting for them now isn't he he realized choice. something you mind telling us why you did it he's like i believe you oh i feel bad because he was so happy to be back kid but when we first met i don't think he did all it i knew on was purpose. how to cheat at cards charlie got me out of more scrapes than i can count he just lost one of his best friends. Oh, I would have been dead by the age of 20 if it hadn't been for him. No. He was more than my friend. He was my brother. I'm sorry, Jay. 
Look, I should have listened to you guys when you told me that my show was killing people. I get that it's hard to understand. And I want to find out who did this to Charlie, so I'll do whatever I'm you guys I'm kind of happy that he doesn't know about it at least. Like, he didn't make a deal or something. Because it really doesn't seem like he has any idea they're what's like, going on. Yeah, they have to like him. Because it's his benefit, alone? you know? No, no, it's not very... That's the other friend, right? I guess you wouldn't want to believe it's one of your family. best friends, right? Gone. Maybe... They were Charlie and him were they closer. Sometimes, but Vernon could never do something like this. The thing about real magic, a whole lot like crack. Once you do it, yeah. Once you start, it just gets worse and worse, huh? Better be damn sure about this. Maybe he started with like tiny things, Vernon's and then it just got really, really bad. He, that would mean that he would lose his two closest friends in a really short amount of time. That's so unfair. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there in two shakes. I got something to tell you anyway. I read that two snakes and I was like, what do you mean two snakes? Not that I've heard two shakes either, but that I feel like that quote made more sense. I re Oh, I was like, isn't he gonna realize wow. that they're wow. going after him too? But Magic I guess not. Museum. You must be in heaven. He's like really funny. He <laughs> wrote his whole life. Probably everything he owns is in this room. Let's get started. I wonder if... Oh god, I'm... This one is really confusing to me. Talk to the head of the convention. Headliner gig is yours. He can't be happy about it. Doesn't feel like he earned what, what? it, right? Charlie's gone. Charlie would have wanted you to go on. This is your shot. It's our shot. If it was under other circumstances, probably, but... This is what Charlie would have wanted. Charlie's dead. Hey, he was my friend too, you know. What if it's not him? I'm scared. What if it's not him? What if it's not the friend? And for what? So that I. And also, what if it is? Oh my god, this could end so badly. I'm scared. No, you're scaring me. First, it was Vance. Then it was Jeb Dexter. Even if you thought you were doing it for me. Oh in God's name, could you kill Charlie? You are crazy. And you use my act to do this to him. If you think I wouldn't be so hard on him, Jay. It's not him, is it? Yeah. And who is this? I mean, magic stuff. None of it magic. Oh, no herbs, is no he candles, gonna be the next no, one now? No tarot cards. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I was. That's what I was thinking. Like, either way, it's bad, right? Look like anyone we know. Sweet Mary and Joseph. Wait. Should I make a connection here? Charlie. It's really me, Jay. Wait, is it a young Charlie? God, you forget what it feels like to be young. Wait, wait, so he didn't die? And now he's young? That's what you mean by old. Right now, technically, about 28. But I've been around a lot I'm longer so than that. I'm so confused. Is he a trickster? Long enough to have shield for Barnum. And he gave me something. What's that? A grimoire. A book of real magic. Who gave you that? In fact, they all worked. So when I got to the end and there was one for immortality. My God, Charlie, <laughs> and my show, the things that I can do. Different spell. But why is he using him to do it though? Instead of, oh God. Oh no, I, I wouldn't touch those, Vernon, they're, they're still radioactive. What do you mean still radioactive? I'm you, so confused. You, Jeff Dexter. They were douchebags, but still. You were being humiliated by those punks. Yes. A washed-up old man who couldn't even defend himself. You used but me to do these terrible things. I used them to give you a gift. Mm, did you really? You can want something, but don't want to kill someone for it. You were ready to kill yourself. Yeah, that's not the same thing as ready to kill other people. Hey. I was there for you, like I've always been, like I'll oh. always be. Come with me, both of you. Did he use the card to make him think it was him? No, I won't do this. I won't. It looks like the other friend might. I've never had friends like the two of you before. Let me do this for you. And oh, this is terrifying. Yeah. There's gotta be people dying for that to work, right? This isn't right? I'm happy he is realizing that there is always a price tag. I'm just scared what he's gonna do to him. To start all over alone. 
Jay. I feel like he might be just really lost too. Of us together, vital and alive, forever. Not so fast. They're like, uh. They're like, go, go away, go to the sides, Immortality. leave him alone. That's a neat trick. That's not a trick. It's magic. Okay, he's how? Oh, get him! Oh, flip. Is he gonna get the bullet? No. No, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Just leave me and my friends alone. I said now. All right, I will give it up. The spells, the hexes. This is the last time. I promise. Uh, I don't believe that. How does he know so much? <laughs> no. They're tra oh, please tell me the other dudes are going to save them. Oh, this would be such a terrible way to go. Save them. Do something, the other two. Say something. Holy fu- Wait, how did he know that was going to work? How did he know that was going to- Because he was being a douche? He wasn't, what, because he threatened him? How did he figure that out? How did he figure that out? Oh, You pick God. these strangers over me. It is not that he picks them over you. He... <sighs> the magician. Oh, God, that was some cool wicked thinking. Holy flipping heck. Is he going to be okay, though? <laughs> did he could have sacrificed himself for them. Oh, God. That must have been hard for him to do. Oh, I hope he's okay. But I also hope he realizes that he needs to get rid of those cards. He cannot use them. This is not going to end well. Oh, God. That must... Oh, that must be so horrible. Yeah. He lost the, the mojo that he had. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He had nothing to do with this. He was just used. What you did yesterday. Yeah. I killed was my very best kind. friend yesterday, and you want to thank me? Well, you did save their lives, and most likely other people's too. I understand that that sounds weird, though. He said he didn't want to speak to me again after what I did to Charlie. I get them, it'd be hard to understand, but... You know, Charlie was never going to give up what he was doing. Still. I think he knew, I think that's why he, he did, did right it. Thing. You sure about that? Yeah, but he's no killer, that's... that's. Just like my brother, now he's dead, because I did the right thing. Yeah. He offered me a gift, and I just threw it back in his face. Now I have to spend the rest of my life old and alone. Oh, I'm scared that he's gonna do something. What's the right about that? I think it's hard to say that it was the right thing. I don't know if you could say that killing someone is the right thing, but... Your cards. Oh, he's gonna leave them. Throw them away. I understand struggling with that. It doesn't. F I wouldn't oh, feel like you. a hero either. I could go for a beer. Or two. I'm gonna take a walk. Is he gonna talk to Ru? There's more to this. You don't. Okay, I feel like he's gonna go talk to Ruby or something. Cause why else would he just go on a walk? I knew it. Okay. I like Ruby, but yeah. I still just talk to Dean for fudge sake. You keep being angry at each other for Change not talking. Why just do it? Just do I don't want to be doing this when I'm an old man. What, so you're saying that you wanna die young now? Is is that what he's saying? Oh my heart, I can't take this. The music, by the way. The music in the credits for this one jump scared me. Fudge it out. Another amazing episode. Oh my god. I just... This one really had my brain going because I feel like there were so many outcomes possible here. I'm just really sad how it ended. In two ways. I'm sad that he had to sacrifice his best friend and brother in this world to do the right thing like he saved them and didn't go he didn't take the deal which is the right thing 
but it sucks that he had to kill his friend for it that I don't even know if you can say that killing someone is the right thing. That part really sucked, but what sucked even more was the end. And like, it's kind of ridiculous because Dean and Sam, they go in circles of being angry at each other for not talking and for not saying what they're thinking and not like what they're doing and all that stuff they keep going in circles and like the past few episodes we've had sam being angry at dean for not talking about hell and what he's going through and as soon as he does and they move on a little bit from that of course that's going to be something that sam does and he's like you know what you know that i wrote you know remember that when i like pushed dean to say this thing actually I am not gonna tell him either because <laughs> like that would make so much more sense and I know why I know why because Dean is scared of Sam's abilities and Sam's scared of them and the angels are terrified of them and the angels are telling Dean that you cannot let Sam do it and Sam wants to listen to the angels because we all know Sam and angels but I also get the pressure of knowing that he's probably the only one who can stop Lilith and the pressure of Ruby telling him all of this and what's gonna happen, the consequences of you not using your abilities and killing Lilith is like massive. The consequences are massive, ginormous. And I get Sam feeling the way he does. And like, he likes Ruby, obviously. Like they have a past slash, pre I don't even know what they have now, but like, they like each other, okay? And I think that Sam trusts her, and I get that. And she might be right. Like, she might be completely right. It might be only Sam who can do it. But the whole th eh, it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating having Sam have to go through that and him not talking to Dean about it. And now I'm like, does this mean that, like, Sam's just gonna run away with Ruby again and Dean's gonna have to look all over the world for him? Or probably all over the US because they I don't think they've been abroad right they've only been in the US which I guess makes sense because it's like an American series and it would be very difficult to get them to like other countries but you know it's stressful but I like when they mix in magic and like that kind of stuff and mix it with real magic because it gets so swirled up and confusing and I feel like the episodes always get really interesting so I enjoyed it even though it was horrible I feel like it really kept me on the edge of like, oh, could it be this? Could it be that? And this one really got my brain spinning. I feel like this one is the one that's gotten my brain spinning the most in quite a while with theories and thoughts and could it be this? Could it be that? And like, I don't know. It was fun. And I feel like the actors were really good as well. I loved the actor of Jay. I think it was called Jay. He was a really good actor, I feel like. So I enjoyed this episode. I'm scared of what's to come next and I feel like there might be a bit of a plot bomb coming soon because you know we'll have a little break maybe it'll be like one or more episodes but we're also like halfway-ish so that can sometimes mean that it's time for you to cry a little you know you know because like Supernatural just loves to make you cry. <laughs> Anyway, I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it would mean a lot if you wanted to give it a thumbs up. Of course, comment down below your thoughts and feelings and emotion when you were watching this, when we were watching this. Or just come and say hi. Give me a fun fact. I love hearing those. And subscribe for upcoming videos. I hope that you will have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight snack, breakfast, whatever time it is for you when you're watching this. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!